In this video, we're going to be adding some spacing to our layout. So what I mean by that is each one of our chapters here is kind of close to the one below it or above it, right? These are all kind of smashed together. And you might not actually think so, but if you ran our application on our phone or on an Android device, you'd see that the spacing is a bit different than what we see here. So let me pull up my phone and show you. You'll notice that they look a bit more condensed, right? Right on top of each other. I just think it would look a little bit better if we had some spacing maybe between one and two here and maybe two and three and three and four and four and five, right? So I actually want to add a bit more spacing there. So how would we go about doing that? Well, we're going to use a little trick here. The way we're going to add our spacing is we're going to go to our layout and our palette. We're going to open that section. And then we're going to grab an arrangement, right? We're going to grab, in our case, a vertical arrangement to add some spacing. So I'm going to grab that vertical arrangement and I'm going to start off putting it right below this gray portion at the top and our chapter one vertical arrangement. So I'm going to release. And if I did everything right, you should notice a gap between our vertical arrangement. That's this green box here and this gray box at the top. So in order to add some spacing, I'm going to go and click on that vertical arrangement and I'm going to go to my property section and I'm going to set the height of that vertical arrangement to 15 pixels. And we could actually set it to whatever pixel amount we want, depending on how much space we want. So if we want a lot of space, I could set it to 40 pixels. And if we want a little bit of space, I could set it to, let's say, three pixels. But I've kind of tested this out before and I think that 15 pixels looks like a good amount of space for us. So I'm going to click 15 pixels or rather input that, press enter, and there you have it. We have some space. The one thing I do like to do though is I don't like to leave our little box like this in our viewer. I actually think it looks just a little easier and cleaner if we set our width to fill parent. I do want to note though that that doesn't do anything functionally for us though for our margin, right? It just makes it look nicer in the viewer. So you'll notice just one more time, it goes from fully expanded to a little square. And as I said, I just think it looks just a little bit nicer. Great. So now I'm going to do that. I'm going to use that technique between each one of our chapters to give it just a little bit of margin between each one. So once again, I'm going to go to my vertical arrangement, drag it in, set the width to fill parent, and then I'm going to set my margin to whatever I want, in my case 15 pixels. I'm going to continue doing this. So I'm going to say 15 pixels with fill parent, so on and so forth. One thing I do want to actually note too as well is some of you perceptive people might realize that I actually don't need to use a vertical arrangement to add a gap. I could use a horizontal arrangement, right? So I could say horizontal arrangement here. I could put it in here. You'll notice this one's different, right? This one's a vertical arrangement and this one's a horizontal arrangement. If you doubt me, just look in our component section, right? But I could do the exact same thing with a horizontal arrangement. I could say 15 pixels high and then with fill parent, and it would look no different, right? You'll notice between four and five is the horizontal arrangement and between three and four is our vertical arrangement. The only reason I use a vertical arrangement is because I think it makes a bit more sense to me. I go, okay, if there's a gap vertically, use a vertical arrangement. If there's a gap horizontally, use a horizontal arrangement. So as I said, I do it just because it makes more sense. Whenever I have a horizontal gap, I like to use a horizontal arrangement. Whenever I have a vertical gap, I use a vertical arrangement just because then later on when I look in my component section, I go, oh, vertical arrangement, this is a vertical gap. You know, and if we keep to that structure, it would make a little bit more sense later on when we're adding things to our application. So I'm going to remove this horizontal arrangement and stick to that nuance that, that I just described. So I'm going to delete that horizontal arrangement. I'm going to grab my vertical arrangement, put it between four and five, set the width to fill parent. And now I'm going to add my, oh, my companion app just crashed. Give me a second. Let me put that up. So I'm going to add 15 pixels here. 
and you notice everything looks good in the viewer. I'm just going to restart my companion app here so that we could actually see how that looks. So remember, we just go to AI Companion. We open it up. I'm going to scan my QR code, and hopefully, everything will have worked out properly. Great. So you'll notice we do, in fact, have that margin between each one. The only thing I don't like is that we have no margin at the bottom now. So I'm going to add one more for a margin at the bottom. I'm just going to place it between that black area and my chapter five vertical arrangement. So now oh, I accidentally grabbed a table arrangement. Let me delete that. And you might find yourself doing that a lot too. Sometimes I accidentally grab a table arrangement or something like that. If something seems off, just look in your component section and ensure that you have the component that you want. So I'm going to go to vertical arrangement and fill parent. And on the bottom, I'm going to give it a little bit more space. I think it looks better. I'm going to give it 20 instead of 15. So now you'll notice it actually, I think, looks a little bit better. Our, our components have a little bit more room to breathe. So as I've said, you could do this for as many chapters as you have, and you can set your margin, your height margin, to whatever you want, whether it be 5 or 30, whatever floats your boat, feel free to do that. So that's going to conclude this video. I'll see you in the next one.